Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I decided I felt like doing just a pen picture um, with just a cheap ballpoint pen that you can get from any supermarket, any shop, anywhere pretty much. And I wanted to draw just a little deer fawn because, you know, they're one of my favourite animals. They're just so sweet to look at. So I thought I would just do this for you today. So I'm just going in now and drawing an outline. I've looking up, I looked up a heap of references on the internet and sort of mixed up between a couple of them to get the little expression and markings and things like that. So, um, and as you can see on my pen, I've got like a red rubber um, grip and that just, it's, it's an ergonomic grip. It helps you hold the pen because I'm not really good. My hands, um, I get sore fingers if I hold a really thin pen or pencil for too long. So this makes it a nice thick grip for me so I can use the really cheap, really thin pens and just yeah I can use that grip and it makes them really comfortable and like this picture took me about an hour to draw so it just made it comfortable that I could draw and 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 not get any discomfort in my hand at all so you can get those at most news agents um, you can probably get them online yeah I think they're called an ergonomic grip pen grip or pencil grip so yeah so anyway so I'm just following the, f the direction of the fur now and just doing a very light um, sort of just line work following the fur direction and I'll build up the layers as I go along so yeah I'm following the direction of his fur and taking that now down his neckline and not trying to be too regular in my pattern of, of lines so that it doesn't look just like rows of lines so yeah I mix up the the, the patterns of the where I put the fur and as you can see, I'm on his back of his neck just there. I've left a few little white areas because these little fawns have got white dots on them. And that helps them camouflage in the grass when they're little babies. So, yeah, I'm just going darker around those dots so the white paper stands out a bit more. And, yeah, I'm still following around the lines, around the direction of fur. And now I'm filling in around the dotty areas and taking that right across his back. And then pop your little elbow, do that front leg, take a few more dots down there. Again, keeping to follow the fur lines. I'm adding a little bit more of a rougher texture down there. I won't do his complete body, I'll just do the sort of the front quarter of him. And I've, as you can see, I've got a bit of plastic under my hand as well, so I don't smudge the ink while it's still a bit wet. So, um, I do, yeah, you can get that at any, any news agent, anything like that too. I'm not sure what it's called, like an acetate paper. And I just use that under my hand to stop any smudging. And that way you guys can still see the drawing as well. I was using paper, but yeah, yeah, and you couldn't see the artwork underneath it. So, <laughs> so I figured a piece of acetate is a better idea. So now I'm just deepening up the colour. So I'm just going over again. Anywhere I want darker, I go over again. I just add another layer and more texture. Um, being careful to stay in the same direction as the fur and the same direction as the underlying picture. So just adding a little bit of a deeper colour around his nose. A bit more definition around the ears and the eyes. I've, on his face, I've, his hair's very short, so I've used a little bit of cross hatching there. And just around here, I'm just darkening up again. Take that right around everywhere I want dark. And that's really making those white bits of paper stand out where his dots are. So now he's got a little bit of longer fur on his forehead. So I've added, and a bit darker, so I've just added a bit more lines there. A few more lines there. Just finish off this ear. Do a little bit more cross hatching just there and around his neck. Around his shoulder and elbow. Take that along his back. And we're just about done, guys. I hope you enjoyed this pen drawing. Pen drawing is just awesome fun, and you can do it anywhere at any time. You can have it with you where, where, wherever you go. You have just a pen and paper. Anyway, I'd love it if you'd click like and subscribe. I've had awesome fun with this picture, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you then. Okie doke. Bye.